Many different 18th century recipes and a lot of writings refer to something called ketchup. Now, ketchup in the 18th century wasn't uh, so much like this uh, as it is more like this. The word ketchup finds its roots in 17th century China. The Chinese had a, uh, a similar sounding name for a concoction that consisted of pickled fish and spices. The British traders uh, found this um, seasoning to be delightful. They brought it home and it quickly became the staple of the English and American diet. Today we're going to make an 18th century uh, ketchup recipe with mushrooms. This would be a seasoning or a flavor that uh, 18th century soldiers would be very familiar with. James Townsend and Son carries all the equipment we'll be using today, and you can find each one of these things in our catalog or on our website. We're starting off with two pounds of fresh mushrooms, but first, a word of warning. We're using common brown mushrooms in our recipe today. These mushrooms are native throughout Europe and North America, but even common mushrooms can easily be mistaken for poisonous or even deadly varieties. So, make sure to use something you know is completely safe. With our mushrooms, we need to gently uh, wipe these mushrooms off. We don't want to rinse them off or wash them because that added liquid would dilute our final flavors. And we're going to add these to our tin cooking pot. We need to draw the juices out of our chopped up mushrooms. The best way to do that is to add a couple of spoonfuls of salt. In addition to that salt, we're going to add a couple of bay leaves. We're going to mash it up, smoosh these mushrooms down in. And then we're going to cover it and then let it set for about 10 minutes. We've let these set 10 minutes and they've already started uh, reducing. The, the liquid's being drawn out of the mushrooms and it's already reduced in size a little bit. I'm going to transfer these into uh, a milk pan here. And then we can let this, uh, let this sit overnight. I'm going to put this pie pan on top just to keep the critters out. The first recipe for tomato ketchup was in 1801, but tomato ketchup did not become popular until the mid-19th century. Uh, the uh, tomato plant is a member of the deadly nightshade family, and many people considered it a deadly poison in the 18th century. Well, let's take a look. There we have it. Mushrooms have uh, completely masticated, and uh, now it's time for the next step. So now it's time to add in uh, one chopped up onion, uh, the zest of one lemon, and some uh, one tablespoon of finely grated horseradish. James Townsend and Son offers a pocket spice kit. It comes with salt and pepper, cinnamon, cayenne, and thyme. It also comes with an empty vial, and in that vial I've added cloves. In the recipe here, we're going to use a quarter teaspoon of cloves. We're going to use a, a pinch of cayenne and some allspice also, about a half a teaspoon. And the last ingredient we need is a, a quarter to a half a cup of cider vinegar. We're going to stir up uh, all these things together, and then we're going to put this over the fire and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Joseph Plum Martin's book, uh, sometimes called Private Yankee Doodle, uh, many times it mentions uh, when he's eating that they're lacking sauce for their meat. More than likely, this is what he was craving. Uh, this is done simmering now. I've let it cool a little bit, but now it's time to pour it off. And I've got our uh, milk pan and I've got a, a squeeze cloth here. I'm going to pour this in here and to let it cool. Once uh, this is cooled off, we're going to take that cloth and uh, bundle it up and squeeze all the liquid out. There's some amazing complex flavors in this. Uh, you get the salt first, uh, then some of the other spices, uh, the earthiness of the mushrooms. It's very complex, 
a very wonderful flavor. Uh, we're going to cork this up. We're going to bottle it, cork it, and save it for our uh, future recipes. So when you're done with the uh, squeezing out the mushrooms, you don't want to get rid of that. You don't want to throw that out. That is especially good stuff. You dry that, and you can either uh, uh, leave it like it is, or you can grind it up. Uh, some of this stuff, you can sprinkle it almost like salt. Um, it is really, really good stuff. And there we have it, our uh, ketchup. Uh, our two pounds of mushrooms worked out to be a little over a pint of liquid ketchup. We also have our, our leftover dried mushrooms. Um, those are going to be great for future recipes. All the equipment that you saw here, all the utensils, it's available uh, on our website, in our print catalog. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook.